Good morning, thank you for the opportunity to speak. I'm Nancy McLean, I'm a retiree. And I have two retiree stories just to relate to you. Two of our retirees have had extreme difficulties with Medicare. The first will lose all three of her most important doctors if the Bridge District cancels the Blue Shield PPO as the retiree primary coverage when a doctor is not a Medicare provider. All three of her doctors are not Medicare providers. She has used them, used two of them for over 15 years. At first, Medicare made payments on these doctors, and then the doctors um, were told that they were in violation of the Social Security Act. They risked being fined up to $2,000 per occurrence if they continued and if they continued seeing a Medicare patient. Since they all were older, these doctors, and had established practices, patients, and fees, they did not have room for new patients and all opted out of Medicare. The Bridge District needs to know that this patient takes only one medication a day, comes out healthy in all yearly physicals, and really needs her non um, provider Medicare doctors. A second Medicare retiree needed to find a primary care provider. She asked four internists to be her doctor. All said they did not take Medicare patients. Finally, after another doctor interceded on her behalf, a fifth non-Medicare <coughs> non provider took her as a Medicare patient. This person has a serious medical history and lots of medications and needs monitoring for her conditions. Retirees simply must keep the right to choose non-Medicare provider doctors when needed. Disease is non-discriminatory and comes in all shapes and sizes, and every kind of doctor is needed, if necessary, to fight it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr.